Tubo yung kakao. Ah, uh, germinating table. Opo. Ano ngayon yung mga hinahawak-hawakan ninyo? Ah, uh, mga seeds. Mga seeds. Oo. Uh, eh, yan ba itatanim? Oo, uh, itatanim. Ah. Uh, Pinipili ano po dok? Pinipili po yung may ano na, may, may tumutubo na. May tumutubo na. Na seeds para iso <laughs> na po doon sa ano sa mga polybags. Okay. Mga ilang araw nito na naka kwan dito? Nasa 4 days na po. 4 days na? Pang ilang araw yan matat... Mga uh, kwan? Uh, i, i, itatanim ninyo? Ano po ngayon? Nag, nag, ano na po? Nagtatanim na po? And, hanggang po? Ay ka 4 day? Okay. Okay, this is Manuel. Sarsuela. Foreman of farm. Uh, I'm the farm foreman of uh, Bambi Cacao Nursery. Okay. So, this is, this is uh, aged about two weeks. Okay. So, yan po yung ano, itsura ng two weeks na seedlings namin. Okay. So, yun yan. Lahat yan. Itong uh, seedlings ng kakao. Opo. Tapos, pa uh, from here, saan na dinadala ito? Uh, Didistribute po ito sa mga farmers. Okay. Ituro mo yung kung sabihin mo, uh, these are how many months? These seedlings are aged 3 uh, to 4 months. Okay. And they are not yet grafted? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sabi mo kung ano yan. Uh, this is the grafted one seedlings. Al already grafted. Like this. This is an already grafted seedlings. And what is uh, the advantage of being grafted? Uh, the advantage of being grafted seedlings is uh, they, they, they are bear fruits within uh, 18 months only. And uh, what about the height? And uh, the maximum height of uh, grafted seedlings is uh, 6 to 7 feet. So it is easily accessible to get, ano, uh, for harvesting? Yes. These are two weeks old and those are four months old. I am Mervyn Estoranio. I am a farm manager of this project. Now as you can see at the back, uh, we have planted all the cacao seedlings and we have uh, four varieties in here. Uh, this is a project. Uh, this is a project of Mr. Congressman Brav Kakao. Uh, we have four varieties. Uh, we have UF18, W10, uh, BR25, and uh, PPC123. Uh, meron kami nga uh, apat na varieties. Kinukuha namin yung strength and uh, resistant ng native. So, hinahaluan namin na sa grafted. Pinagraft namin as an um, hybrid to produce a quality and a very good uh, seedlings. Uh, how many how many are uh, the siblings that uh, we see here? Uh, Estimate. As of now, we have two nurseries, one here in Kapabog and one in Sedeco. Here we have a uh, we have a uh, one hundred. One hundred seedlings, and then in Sedeco, we have 50,000 seedlings. One hundred seedlings only? One hundred thousand seedlings. Ah, one hundred thousand seedlings. And in Sedeco? Fifty thousand seedlings. So you have a big, bigger uh, farm here? Yes, we have a bigger farm here. And what do you think, uh, how long how long will it take for this uh, cacao uh, plants here to, to grow and productive? Uh, from the very start, uh, from the set sowing, grown here in Kakao in uh, six months from seed sowing and then transplant to the area and we will wait for uh, 12, 12 to 18 months. 12 months will be the flowering stage and 18 months is the harvesting stage. Okay. How, how, many, how many seeds can you harvest from one from one uh, cacao tree? Estimate. Uh, in one cacao tree, after three years, we can produce uh, four kilos 
per tree. Per tree, okay. Uh, so in one month, uh, we have two times harvest in one month, so we can produce eight kilos. Eight kilos per for one month. For one month. Okay. So it will long for seven months. And is this produced uh, year lo year long or there is a se season? Season. Uh, How many seasons are there? Seven months. Seven months. Seven months season. Okay. Seven months harvesting, uh, three months flowering stage, and then rest. Oh, okay. I am Congressman Anthony Bravo, a representative of Coop Not Co Party List. Different varieties of cacao seedlings. Okay. okay. Um, this is being prepared for distribution to the farmers in Sotogon. Uh, the small coconut farmers are the priority targets for this. Okay. So that uh, we will be able, after two years, we will be able to augment their, their income and improve their life. Mga ilan itong kan? This, uh, this truck, uh, truck load has a uh, capacity of 60,000. 60,000? Yeah, 60,000 load of seedlings. And uh, where is this going to be distributed? Uh, initially, it will be distributed in Sorsogon City, uh, Gubat, Sorsogon, then Castilla, Sorsogon. How is the distribution going to be? Who, uh, what is the criteria for, uh, for, a family, for a family to receive it? First and foremost, you should be classified as small coconut farmer. Okay. Second, you have to enroll in the program. Okay. Uh, because this, this is not the same with those uh, previous programs of the government. We're in seedlings who just being distributed without any training. Okay. So those who are enrolled, their areas will be assessed whether or not it, it is really keep, uh, suited for uh, this uh, cacao. I see. Then uh, third, they are going to be clustered in undergo a training. Okay. So progressively, they will be trained uh, after planting. Okay. So this is a long-term uh, partnership with the farmers. To assure them and uh, assure the program that it will uh, uh, be successful and sustainable. How much is the capitalization for your project? Uh, per hectare, uh, the, cap the capitalization for the first year of implementation to include the purchase of seedlings and uh, other inputs is about ranging from 75,000 to 80,000 uh -huh. per hectare. But in the succeeding year, it will decrease because you are not doing any more to produce, uh, purchase seedlings, only for maintenance. Are you selling it or uh, giving it away? Uh, well, uh, a portion is being given for farmers to initially capacitate them uh, to, to plant this and appreciate this crop. But later on, if they want it to be intensified, they're going to buy it. But those who How are, much um, per plant? The seedling is ranging, depending upon the, the type of uh, seedling, type means uh, there are uh, farmers who would want to prefer a grafted and those uh, who would want to prefer non-grafted as of different price. Grafted is ranging from 40 pesos to 50 pesos per okay. seedling, while non-grafted is ranging from uh, 30 to 35. Okay. And uh, how long is the... Uh, how long is the planting before it uh, uh, it produces the uh, the fruit or the cacao? Okay. Uh, with the grafted, it will take about 18 months. It will uh, have its flowering stage. Then in two years, you, have to, you can start uh, harvesting your uh, sweat. But uh, an ungrafted, it will take about three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, 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 how is the market of cacao? How much it costs now in the... Well, uh, the price of cacao is variable, uh, dependent on world price. As of this moment, it's ranging about from 2,800 to almost 3,000 dollars per metric ton. Are you uh, looking at exporting this uh, product? Uh, well, uh, portion of it, yes, but portion of it should be processed here so that the added value will be retained in the Philippines. So how, mu how, much, how much is the portion that will be retained? Uh, well, uh, according to the demand of the, of the Philippine uh, industry, as far as cacao is concerned, we need about 100,000 metric ton. And we are only supplying about 25. So we are deficient about 75,000 metric ton. So, well, for me, uh, if the price will, will be at par, I prefer to be processed in the Philippines, 100%. 100%. Uh, let's see. Uh, what are the uh, chances of this cacao surviving typhoon? Uh, well, we have proven one uh, in Compostela Valley after uh, Typhoon Pablo. Uh, there were damages, 
but uh, the group of uh, cacao planters in that area was able to rehabilitate the typhoon damaged uh, plantation and about six months it was able to generate again fruits so mm -hmm. meaning uh, if you are going to compare it in uh, edda coconut it will take about three to five years to recover after a strong typhoon that hit an area uh, we've proven that in big region but this one if it is already bearing fruit and it's being hit by typhoon it will take about six to seven months you can recover it. recover okay yeah. and uh, what is this adv the advantage of cacao to other plants that uh, the Philippines is also trying to uh, to plant and export. Okay. Uh, for me, I have my focus in cacao because I, I can see it has uh, more of advantage. Why? First, we address the environmental concern. It captures car car uh, carbon dioxide. It's a tree. So, greening program of, uh, of the government is being addressed. Second, you plant only one and you care for it it will give you a livelihood for the next 40 to 50 years. It depends on how you carry your plants. Mm -hmm. So third, uh, if you are going to compare it to coffee, um, if you harvest a coffee, it's very tedious because you have to select the, this one, the quality one, you have to segregate it, and the seeds are exposed. Pag tinusok po yan ng insect, that loses its quality. But this one, it's covered by pan. By? Pan. Nasa loob yung seeds eh. So, mm -hmm. tusukin man yung pad, yung seeds ma-secured. Mm -hmm. I see. So, even yung harvest, isang pad, meron kang 56 to 60 seeds. Ang coffee pa isa-isa po. Anong mga products nito? Uh, by, produ by products nito? Well, ito? ang mga produkto niya, ganito eh. First, pag in-extract mo kasi yung tatlong produkto, yung mga sakuan, yung katawag nating butter, yung powder, ginagamit ng Milo at saka uh, Cobaltin, and other confectionaries, uh, product, uh, mga, ano yan, Tapos ng cakes, ginagamit yan. Then, meron tayong tinatawag na butter. Ito yung ginagamit sa cosmetic, mga pampaganda. Okay, hmm. so yun yung, yung isa pang ginagamit sa chocolate industry. So tatlo pong industry ang gumagamit dito na, na mamalalaki. Chocolate industry. Mamalalaki. Chocolate industry, medical industry, and cosmetic industry. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so the, right now, this is a province-wide project. Right now, as far as we are concerned, this is a national project. Uh, but I want to take off in, in uh, Sorsogon. But you know, after four series of typhoons, we were overtaken by our project in Cebu. Okay. As of this moment, we were able to distribute already one million seedlings in Cebu. Oh, yeah? yeah. And, and farmers in Cebu. Uh, you know, we are targeting uh, in the entire country, at least, we are targeting the 3.5 million hectares planted with coconut. Mm -hmm. Because if you are going to look around the entire country, uh, sa ilalim po ng coconut, walang tanim eh. Only very few mm -hmm. are being utilized. It's about 70% of the areas. And there are about 3.5 million hectares. Mm -hmm. So, conservatively, if you compute it about 50%, it's about 2.7 uh, I mean, mm -hmm. I million hectares. Which could generate about 84 billion pesos additional economic activities that will be infused in the Philippine economy. Right now, sino nagpapandin do? Saan galing ang panding? Sa ngayon po, actually pulled out resources ito sa mga kooperatiba. Ah, and eh. our uh, personal out of the packet. Gusto lang kasi namin ipos ito, ito yung advocacy ko eh. Ilang kooperatives yung involved? Uh, well, as far as NATCO is concerned, the, the party list is concerned, there are about 907 cooperatives in the entire country. While the NATCO network, we have about 603. Because it has different personality. Our NATCO party list is a, a political arm, while our NATCO network is our business arm. So, uh, wala, wala pa ng funding ang national government? Well, we are trying to access funding from the government along high value crop program. Pero as of this moment, wala pa pong puwapas sa kahit sinko. Wala pa. I, I hope we can access that uh, fund for the benefit of our small coconut farmers. Akala ko na nag-coordinate na kayo sa Department of Agriculture. We are, every, uh, since 2013, we've been coordinating. Pero wala pang funding? Uh, well, uh, there are funds uh, within the agency, but as far as the flow of funds coming in for this project, we've not yet experienced. Ganun ba? So, uh, working, we are working hard to access that fund. Uh, okay. Anything else you want to say about this project? 
Uh, well, um, I would like to invite our, uh, not only the small coconut farmers, even the corporate farmers uh, who are involved in corporate farming, that this is really a very uh, uh, good opportunity to uh, earning additional income for our farmers and at the same time uh, improving our uh, uh, contribution in terms of uh, gross national product as far as agriculture is concerned. Okay. Uh, maraming salamat uh, Congressman Bravo maraming for uh, this uh, opportunity to interview you. Maraming and this is Joseph Larios. Yeah, thank you very much. These are the cacao fruits, beans, and the uh, and source of an, uh, property. The geography, editing, and reporting. This is Joseph Gilariosa of the journal Global Links in Sorsogon City, Philippines.